Hello, let's take a moment to talk about constants and variables, how they're made and how they're used. So the deal is, is that when you want to do something with data and memory, you need to go ahead and define information about it, such as what type of data it is. Um, you typically want to give a human friendly name because you don't want to use the, the address that the computer is using because it's going to be some weird you know binary value that can be represented typically as a hex decimal address you want something a little bit friendlier and um, you also need to make a decision about whether or not you want people to change it while the program is running or uh, or stop that behavior so python does a lot of things automatically for you that's one of the reasons why people like python so much in the case of variables, Python will go through and create the variable for you, or excuse me, create the data type for you, define the data type for you. In the case of constants, Python doesn't really have a mechanism for enforcing the rules, but they have a convention where you as a programmer it tell other people that you would like to make the value not changeable while, while it runs. That's called a constant. Let's, uh, let's talk about that for a second. So I've opened up idle here and I'm actually going to open up a, a new window so I can have a script to work with, with and I'll just go ahead and create a variable. So you know how in math class they did X and Y and Z? You can do that here. So to declare a variable in Python it's really as simple as saying the variable name and you are done. It doesn't really work all that well because if later on I try to use it, let's say I want to display its content by going print, let's just use the test file again. It comes out and said x is not defined. Now let me go through and give it a value. And run it again. Now it works, it's happy. It goes through and prints out the value one because I have set an initial value which actually automatically defines um, a variable for me. And it automatically sets the value of that variable. And actually, it automatically goes through and defines the type of that variable. Now, this one would be a variable. While the program is running, I could change it. And human wouldn't notice unless I print it out on the screen, but I'll do that. I'll go ahead and print out the screen. And I'll run this again. Not much of a change, but it was a change. And you can see that the, the value changed as the, the program ran, the script ran. Now, there are things that you don't want to change. Let's say that x is going to represent a simple value for pi. So 3.14. If I thought it would be appropriate to change it at a later point, 3.14, I don't know, how about 3.141628 or whatever it is? Then it would be fine to make it a variable. Perhaps I want to make it more precise at a later point in time. However, often you don't want a value to change like pi once the program is running. So in Python, there is no way of restricting that other than the honor system. And um, basically, I'd go through and say, okay, you know. Don't change this, please. That's basically what you're doing. Now, of course, having a whole bunch of notes for your program is a little bit tedious. So what the convention is, is you change the variable name to uppercase. Now, you guys can see apparent, uh, immediately how uppercase and lowercase really isn't that indistinguishable. 
So using variable names, or constant names in this case, like X, Y, Z, is probably not your best choice. But let's say I go ahead and do something like I have in my notes here. I call it simple pi. And I think I like to make it uppercase, lowercase. It's called Pascal casing when you do this versus camel casing. Camel casing has humps in the middle. I'll put it in Pascal casing right now. And simple pi is pretty easy to read. Um, if you do this, then of course I'll have to change the name down here. Now some people like to keep their naming conventions simple because they don't like having to type it out a whole lot. I, uh, I don't like typing that much either because I'm not a great typist. But I do like being able to read code that makes sense. And of course, you know, there's always copy and paste. And paste. Control V does a great job. Okay, so now, I guess I had better get rid of my note here. This represents a variable because the value may vary, vary as the program runs. Didn't change the way it ran, it just made it a little bit easier to see. The naming convention in Python is if you want it to be a constant, go ahead and change it to all uppercase. Now, when you do this, it doesn't stop it from changing when the programs run. It still changes. Most other languages, they do not, if you set something as a constant, in other words, once it's set, you can't change it while the program runs, they give you an error message when you try to change it. Python does not do that. So just setting the name to uppercase like this doesn't stop anything from happening, but it does let the next person know what you intended. And that's basically like typing in a note. Don't change this while the program, I call the script, runs. For all intents and purposes, this indicates this. Now, since you're on the honor system, um, that means that when you open up somebody else's code, you should know this. Also, if you want somebody else to open your code and work on it, they should know it too. So, it's, a, it's an important thing to, to be aware of. You know, you don't use constants that much. Most of the time, you you actually put variables in. I mean, the variables and constants are pretty much the same thing. They're just places. They're just named locations, human-friendly named locations for data and memory. Okay, hopefully that makes sense about what the difference is between constants and variables. Again, they're just a choice. Your most students ask at this point, when will I know which one to use? Well, it comes down to this. If you think that while your program is running, you don't want people to change it, make it a constant. Maybe you make a note as well as putting an uppercase. The rest of the time, just use variables and call it a day. It's really not that going to be that difficult. You will know when it's time to, to tell people not to change your code while it runs. Okay, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video.